India's poor testing rate may have masked coronavirus cases. That urges countries to test more people, to curb the pandemic, but India has not expanded testing so far. Indian authorities have said they will not expand coronavirus testing, as most affected nations are doing. Despite criticism that limited testing could leave COVID-19 cases undetected in the world's second most populous country, the World Health Organization has urged countries to test as widely as possible to curb the pandemic. But India has only been testing those who have traveled from affected countries or come in contact with a confirmed case and shown symptoms after two weeks of quarantine. At current rate, India can see 30,000 COVID-19 deaths by May, no hospital bed by June. The response of various Indian states to COVID-19 will differ as the poorest states have the weakest capacity to deliver health services. After the largest single-day increase in the number of novel coronavirus cases in India, it has never been clearer that the pandemic is upon us and the next few weeks are going to throw up a scenario that many still find hard to imagine. From the data we have, here's a look at the near future, India is hitting a period of exponential growth, and what the Narendra Modi government needs to do. It took India 40 days to reach the first 50 cases, 5 more days to reach 100 cases, 3 more days to reach 150 cases and then just 2 more days to reach 200 cases. From here on, the juggernaut is going to roll fast. Two months after India reached almost 1000 cases, Built by Prime Minister Narendra Modi as a people's curfew against coronavirus. The move followed days of increasing restrictions. The move followed days of increasing restrictions. As of Monday, more than 200 million people were already in detention in 75 municipalities and four states. India's rail service which until recently carried some 25 million passengers a day, has announced that trains will stop running until March the 31st at the earliest. And the country's airports were practically deserted after the entry into force on Sunday of a ban on domestic and international flights. Even as India's government began implementing social distancing measures, some of its people proved that changing behaviors would not be an easy task. Across the country, people assembled on their balconies and in doorways at 5 p.m. on Sunday to applaud the nation's health workers. Responding to a request from Prime Minister Modi to show solidarity while practicing social distancing. But in some localities large crowds flocked into the streets enthusiastically banging pots and pans, risking spreading the virus further. Those attitudes might change with time as public health information campaigns gather steam. Ahead of all phone calls, Indians now hear the sound of a person coughing followed by a pre-recorded message telling them to sneeze into a handkerchief. Wash their hands and keep their distance from people who are showing symptoms. But concerns remain for the millions of Indians living in cramped urban slums, where social distancing is unfeasible and hygiene facilities are already poor. India has just one hospital bed per 2,000 citizens, far below the World Health Organization's recommendation of 20. Modi urged Indians to prepare for a long haul. He said, It's the beginning of a long battle. People shouldn't come out of houses in states which have announced a lockdown. In the rest of the states, if it isn't very important, don't come out of your houses.